Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon, part of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group, and today I'm going to do a short video on how to restore the Avaya B179 firmware back to the factory default firmware version. Setting the B179 phone firmware to factory default firmware. Generally you're going to be working with the support engineer when you're doing this. What it's going to give you is basically a fresh start. It'll reformat the configuration as well as restore the firmware to factory default. So now you can put on whatever firmware level you need to or wish to on that particular B179. The B179 restoration process is accomplished using the phone itself. I want to start the process by HTTPing into the B179's IP address. There's not a whole lot we're going to do here, but there's a couple of things I want to look at. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Profiles and select Admin. We're going to put in the Admin PIN. We're going to select Login. And you can see right there, our firmware level is .56, so we're going to go lower than that. I next want to look at Settings up top. And then we're going to go to Systems. And really all I'm doing here is I want to point out that the factory reset here is basically resetting the configuration. Not the firmware, but the configuration. So don't get the two confused. Next we're going to go to the phone. So as you can see, we're at the phone. The phone is registered, so 2604 room 2C. You see that the registration box in the bottom left is full, which means it's registered. The date is 2012, August 10th, and it's 112 or 1312. At that point, we're going to press the menu button. See profiles and bolts, we're going to press the arrow up button. You can see status is in bolts, so we're going to press the OK button. Accounts is in bold, so we're going to press the arrow up button. Device is in bold, so we're going to press OK. So when we press OK, it tells us the firmware version is .56 and that that firmware was created on July 25th, 2012. We're now going to press menu to return to the phone screen. And menu returns us to the main phone screen. At this point, we're now going to remove power and restore it back to factory default firmware. So again, it's 2604, room 2C. It's registered to the SIP server. The date is August 10, 2012, and it's 1.13 p.m. As you can see, power now has been removed from the B179. You can see that I'm holding down the menu button while we're restoring power. The menu button is still depressed while the power is coming up. At that point, this is probably 15, 20 seconds into it, the system recovery window appears in your display. We're going to select 3 to restore firmware. And it asks you, do you really want to restore this factory firmware? So we're going to confirm by pressing the OK button. And then you get this restore firmware, please wait. It takes a long enough time where it actually, the display dims out. And then the display comes back again with the restore firmware, please wait. And you still have about 45 seconds. It takes a little longer than a normal firmware update. And then you see registering 100. And then the phone comes up with default information. 1 January, 1 o'clock, 100 not registered. So now we're going to press menu. And when I press menu, profiles is highlighted, so I'm going to hit the arrow up key. Status is highlighted in bold, so I'm going to press the OK key. Accounts is in bold, so we're going to press the arrow up button. Devices in bold, so we're going to press the OK button. And it tells us we're now at factory version dot 17, which was put on the factory March 15, 2012. We're now going to press the menu button to return to the main phone screen. As you can see, we're back at the main phone screen. You can see our date and time are at default. Our extension now is 200. It is not registered to anything. And that's because when you restore the factory firmware, you also reformat all the configurations. So the phone is now prepared for you to configure it to register to whatever call server you're going to be registering to. And it's also prepared for you to upgrade it to whatever software release you plan to upgrade it to. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentordivide.com. Or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, 
please visit support.avaya.com. Again, thanks for choosing Avaya.